So here you go, folks. The updated version of my project bike, the NC29 Honda CBR 400 RR, and the paint scheme is still the same. And well, we have just some few aftermarkets that have been installed in my bike, and we'll start with the clutch lever. See. This one is a Pytax clutch lever and it's fully adjustable. See? Change the clutch perch so that the the uh, clutch lever will fit on the bike because this one is not the standard clutch lever for the NC29 so you have to replace your clutch perch or enable you to ins install this Titax uh, R6 uh, clutch lever and we have also a new foldable lever see and get here a Yoshimura short pipe yep okay. and we'll try to demonstrate how does it sounds like okay. let's give it a kick And we have still the big spider too, and uh, the old uh, what do you call this? The old disc brakes. Well, actually, this has to be replaced with the uh, uh, golfer wave rotors. But the parts didn't arrive. Maybe I could install them on uh, next year by March. Because I'm planning to replace this with wave rotors in the front and with the back. And on 2009, hopefully I could change also the, the, uh, what do you call this, the rear sprocket and also the front sprocket. And I just change also its uh, fuel filter and has a new, uh, air filter from Daytona. I removed this pump grip tank pads because uh, they're not really good and I'm thinking of uh, putting it again by putting a double sided tape and let's see how it will uh, looks like. So here you are my version of NC29 and thank you for viewing